Please kneel. Lord our God, I come before you once more to offer to you my prayers. I have made my pleas to you again and again, and each moment I do, the more my faith increases that you are truly the God of life and of love. However, there have been a number of times also that I fail to call on you, that I fail to love my neighbors, that I fail to keep my promises, that I fail to ask for a pardon and to give pardon to others, that I fail to give thanks for all the blessings that come my way. And yet, in all these moments, you are ever present, O Lord, to remind me that you are just around to take me back once more if I will but come to you. By meditating on the mysteries of the Holy Rosary, especially in this novena, in honor of the Queen of the Holy Rosary of Manawag, may I be led to find your presence in my life as Mother Mary found it in her own life, in every mystery of my joy, in every mystery of my sorrow, in every mystery of my glory, may I be able to recognize your hand that I may know you are indeed the Emmanuel, the God who is with us now and forever. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall declare your praise. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The five sorrowful mysteries. The first mystery, the agony in the garden. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen.
the second glorious mystery, the ascension of our Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, fully grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, fully grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, fully grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, fully grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The third glorious mystery, the descent of the Holy Spirit. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fourth glorious mystery, the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you among women, blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Mabuhay ang Birhen, mabuhay ang Rosario, mabuhay Santo Domingo, na nagtatag nito, mabuhay Santo Domingo. the fifth glorious mystery, the coronation of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Litany in honor of Mary, our mother. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, our Father in heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Mother of God, pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins, pray for us. Mother of Christ, pray for us. Mother of the Church, pray for us. Mother of Mercy, pray for us. Mother of Divine Grace, pray for us. Mother of Hope, 
pray for us. Mother most pure, pray for us. Mother most chaste, pray for us. Mother inviolate, pray for us. Mother undefiled, pray for us. Mother most amiable, pray for us. Mother most admirable, pray for us. Mother of good counsel, pray for us. Mother of our creator, pray for us. Mother of our savior, pray for us. Virgin most prudent, pray for us. Virgin most venerable, pray for us. Virgin most renowned, pray for us. Virgin most powerful, pray for us. Virgin most merciful, pray for us. Virgin most faithful, pray for us. Mirror of justice, pray for us. Seed of wisdom, pray for us. Cause of our joy, pray for us. Spiritual vessel, pray for us. Vessel of honor, pray for us. Singular vessel of devotion, pray for us. Mystical rose, pray for us. Tower of David, pray for us. Tower of ivory, pray for us. House of gold, pray for us. Ark of the covenant, pray for us. Gate of heaven, pray for us. Morning star, pray for us. Health of the sick, Pray for us. Refuge of sinners. Pray for us. Solace of migrants. Pray for us. Comfort of the afflicted. Pray for us. Help of Christians. Pray for us. Queen of angels. Pray for us. Queen of patriarchs. Pray for us. Queen of prophets. Pray for us. Queen of apostles. Pray for us. Queen of martyrs. Pray for us. Queen of confessors. Pray for us. Queen of virgins. Pray for us. Queen of all saints. Pray for us. Queen conceived with without original sin, pray for us. Queen assumed into heaven, pray for us. Queen of the Holy Rosary, pray for us. Queen of peace, pray for us. Queen of the family, pray for us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Queen of the Holy Rosary of Manawa, pray for us that we be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, this only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant we beseech thee, that through meditating upon these mysteries of the Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may meditate what they contain and obtain what they promise through Christ our Lord. Extend, O Lord, to your servants, your heavenly aid, that we may seek you with all our hearts and obtain what we ask. Hear, O Lord, our prayers, and grant to our deceased associates the rest of heaven and to your church peace through the intercession of the glorious Virgin Mary and the merits of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Prayer to St. Joseph. Behold the faithful and prudent steward, whom the Lord has sent over his household. The Lord has shown him his love and covered him with glory. He has clothed him in splendid garment. Let us pray. Almighty God, at the beginning of our salvation, when Mary conceived your son and brought him forth into the world, you placed him under Joseph's watchful care. May his prayers still help your church to be an equally faithful guardian of your mysteries, a sign of Christ to mankind. We make our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Act of Contrition, my Lord Jesus Christ. True God and true man, my Father and Redeemer, I knew in the presence of your divine majesty, overcome with grief for having offended you, my God, so deserving of all my love. I believe in you, I trust you, and trusting in your infinite mercy, I hope to have my sins forgiven. With the help of your divine grace, I resolve to confess my sins and to start my life anew. Chastise me in this life, O Lord, but spare me in eternity. Help me make my life a worthy oblation to atone for all my sins and the sins of all men. During this novena to Mary, your mother, Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, help me to know you better, to love you more fervently, to serve you with more dedication. Grant me the grace to live and persevere in your service until death. Amen. Prayer for every day of the novena. O Most Clement Virgin, O Tenderest Mother, O Sweetest Mary, 
comforter of the afflicted, and refuge of sinners, mediatrix between God and men. You are Noah's ark, our salvation in the deluge of sin. You are the rainbow of peace, our reconciliation with God. You are the dove that brings us the olive branch of peace. As a token of your maternal love, you gave to the Catholic world through your son Dominic the most holy rosary. Through this devotion, pagans were converted, heretics brought back to the true fold, enemies of the church vanquished, and Christian society reformed. Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, we call on you for assistance. You alone did overcome all heresies in the world. Deliver now your Christian people from the snares of the devil. Great was your love for this nation, for when the enemies of the Catholic religion threatened to take our faith, you saved us miraculously through the intercession and thus secured for yourself the title of Queen and Mother of the Philippines. Look down with mercy on those who are deceived by the evil one, that they may renounce their heresy and return to the unity of the Catholic Church. Illumine our rulers that under your divine guidance they may go govern this land as worthy representatives of God. Inspire us all to study our religion, to fulfill the commandments, and to receive the sacraments, which are the essentials of true Christian life. As we became Christians through your intercession, we also to live as such under your protection. With your rosary as our anchor, we hope to reach that heavenly kingdom, for for all eternity, we can have you as our queen and Christ our king. Amen. Special prayer for the sixth day. Queen of the most holy rosary, mother of the Philippines. I behold you standing beneath the cross of your dying son, suffering with him for the redemption of mankind. I behold you proclaimed my mother when Christ said to John, the representative of the human race, Behold your mother, and to you, behold your son. O Mary, my mother, may the memory of my crucified Redeemer and the thought of your sorrows at Calvary Keep me away from sin. In all my trials, I look up to you, my star. Mother dear, remember me, and never cease your care. Till in heaven, your love and bliss I share. Let us now ask the particular favor we wish to obtain in this novena through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Final prayer for every day. Queen of the Most Holy Rosary. Refuge of the human race, we humbly prostrate ourselves before your throne, confident that we shall receive mercy, grace, assistance, and protection. Now through our own inadequate merits, but solely to the great goodness of your maternal heart. May the sight of the widespread material and moral destruction, the sufferings and sorrows of countless human beings, move you to compassion. O Mother of mercy, obtain peace for us from God and procure for us those graces which prepare, establish, and assure that peace. Queen of Peace, pray for us and give to the world and to the Philippines the peace for which we are all longing, the peace in the truth, justice, and charity of Christ. Lastly, O Queen of Heaven, as the Church and the entire human race are consecrated to the sacred heart of Jesus, so that in reposing all hope in Him, He might become for them the pledge of victory and salvation, so we in like manner 
consecrate ourselves to you, Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, you who have chosen to raise your throne of mercy in Manawag, to be the beloved protectress and patroness of the province of Pangasinan, and from there to bestow your graces on us, your children, banished in this valley of tears. Look down with your eyes of mercy upon us, who are beset with so many dangers of body and soul. Despise not our petitions, O dearest Mother, but intercede for us before your divine Son, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty, to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray, pray for, for me, me to the, the Lord, Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. We are now entering into the sixth day of our novena to prepare ourselves for the feast of Our Lady of Holy Rosary of Manawag. 
May the Blessed Virgin Mary accompany us in our journey towards the Father as she has accompanied the child Jesus in her earthly sojourn. May we be together and never depart from each other's way following the example of Jesus in his growth not only in age but in wisdom and in grace. Let us pray. O Holy Father, in the wonder of your wisdom and love, you decree that your son should be born of a woman and be subject to her guidance. Grant that we may enter more and more into the mystery of your incarnate word and with him lead a hidden life on earth until escorted by his virgin mother. We may joyously enter your home in heaven to our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, when the fullness of time had come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law, to ransom those under the law, so that we might have received adoption. As proof that you are children, God sent the Spirit of His Son into our hearts, crying out, Abba, Father. So you are no longer a slave, but a child. And if a child, then also an heir through God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My heart is not proud, nor are my eyes haughty. I do not busy myself with great matters, with things too sublime for me. In you, Lord, I have found my peace. Rather, I have stilled my soul, hushed it like a weed child. Like a wind child on its mother's lap, so is my soul within me. In you, Lord, I have found my peace. Israel, hope in the Lord now and forever. In you, Lord, I have The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Each year, Jesus' parents went to Jerusalem for the feast of Passover. And when Jesus was 12 years old, they went up according to festival custom. After they had completed each day as they were returning, the boy Jesus remained behind in Jerusalem, but his parents did not know it. 
thinking that Jesus was in the caravan, they journeyed for a day and looked for him among their relatives and acquaintances, but not finding him, they returned to Jerusalem to look for him. After three days, they found Jesus in the temple, sitting in the midst of the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. And all who heard him were astounded at his understanding and his answers. Jesus' parents saw him, they were astonished, and his mother said to him, Son, why have you done this to us? Your father and I have been looking for you with great anxiety. And Jesus said to them, Why were you looking for me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's house? But his parents did not understand what he said to them. Jesus went down with them and come to Nazareth and was obedient to them. And his mother kept all these things in her heart. And Jesus advanced in wisdom and age and favor before God and people. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Kayong mga magulang na puspos na puspos sa pag-aalaga at pangangalaga sa inyong mga anak, kadalasan, napakadali ng paglipas ng panahon na hindi nyo napapansin na inyong mga anak ay nagbibinata na at nagdadalaga na. Katulad ng dati, akala nyo yung maituturing yung musmus pa. That's the natural psychology of parents. Only to be surprised one day, wow, the time has passed by so fast. Now, Nene is no longer the Nene I used to know and to embrace. She's already a lady. And the boy that used to go around just playing now, I could not even embrace him because he has grown up tremendously both lengthwise and crosswise. We'll just be surprised one day or one morning. Joseph and Mary are no exemption to this natural psychology of parents. Banal nga sila, lubos na banal. Pero mga pangkaraniwang mga magulang din sila na dahil sa puspos na puspos, ang pag-aalaga, napakadali ng panahon, hindi nila naaalalang lumalaki na yung kanilang kinakalinga. Nawala ang ating Panginoong Yesu Kristo. Hinanap nila ng tatlong araw. Akala nila bata yung kanilang hinahanap. Nawala. Si Kristo ba'y nawala talaga o nagwawala? At tulad ng mga nagbibinatilyo at dalaginding na kapag ka nasa ganyang mga edad, ay napakahirap kontrolin. O natagpuan nila sa templo, nakikipagtala kayan sa mga guro, maestro ng relihiyon. Kaya tinanong siya ng kanyang ina, My son, are you not worried that we are so anxious trying to find you? Ayan, tinanong na mahinusay ni Maria, di ka ba nag-aalala na kami abalang-abalas sa paghahanap sa iyo? Anong sagot ng ating Panginoong Yesu Kristo? Madam, don't you know that I am about to do my father's will. Ginang, nanay, nakakalimutan nyo na ba na ako'y nandi dito upang tukdin ang kalooban ng aking ama? Ayun. Iyon ang tugon ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. 
Hindi yan sagot na pabalang-balang, ha? Sagot yan ng isang nagbibinatang makatwiran na handa na na humarap sa panunungkulan at panagutan ang mga katungkulan niyang gagampanan sa lipunan sa ganyang edad pa lang. Handa ng ating Panginoong Yesu Kristo. Diyan pinakikita. Ah, hindi na musmos. Kaya nga maski sa simbahang katolika, sa mga edad na yan, nakumpila na yung mga bata na tinatawag natin. Nakumpila na. Sapagka hindi na mga bata yan eh. Alam niyo naman ang kumpil, yun ang sakramento na pinatatatag yung mga lumalaking akala na iti bata na ngayon nagdadalaga na, nagdadalagin din upang maging sundalo sa pagpapalaganap ng Ibanghelyo. Hindi na sila puro tanggap ng tanggap, kundi sila na ang mga instrumento ng Panginoon na may pananagutan at may katungkulan upang tumayo at harapin ang mga hamon ng kanilang pananampalataya, pananampalataya sa magulong mundo. Kaya yun ang kumpil. Sa mga ganong edad, kinukumpila na. Ibig sabihin, hindi na yan mga bata. Hindi na yan mga batang musmos. Napatakbo-takbo na lang yan. Nagkakaroon na yan ng isip. Kaya gumagawa na ng desisyon yan na maaaring ikagugulat ninyo. Pero si Maria, naunawaan niya, hindi niya ikinagulat. Sabi nga, eh, nakinig siyang mabuti sa sinabi ng anak at isinaloob, isinapuso ang sagot ng kanyang anak. Ano ang sagot ng kanyang anak? Alalahanin, ina, na ang lahat ng ito'y ginagawa ko dahil tinutupad ko ang kalooban ng ama. Oo. Oh. Kaya nga pagkatapos noon, ano, sinabuod na ni San Lucas. Hindi na siya nagkwento ng kaunumang kwento, magmula 12 anyos hanggang 30. Hindi na niya kinuwento niyo kaya habang istorya pa yan. Makikita niyo na lang, babalik uli si Kristo, 30 anyos na. Mamang mama na. Ano ibig sabihin no? Normal na normal ang paglaki ng ating Panginoong Yesu Kristo. Lumaki sa pananagutan. Sapagkat yung mga ginagawa niya, hindi niya sapagkat gusto lang niya. Kundi sinusunod niya ang kagustuhan ng kanyang amang nasa langit. At sabi nga dito, naging masunurin siya sa kanyang magulang sapagkat si Maria at si Jose ang gumabay sa kanya habang siya'y naghihintay nang siya'y maging Mamang mama na sa pagpapalaganap ng Ibanghelyo noong 30 anyos siya. Kaya nga ang buod nitong ating Ibanghelyo, si Jesus ay lumaki hindi lamang sa edad, kundi sa mentalidad, ikaridad. Yan, puro dad yan. Edad, mentalidad, ikaridad. Hindi lang lumalaki sa gulang na wala naman pinagkakatandaan kundi lumalawak ang kaisipan, hindi makitid ang isip, hindi tumatanda ng paurong, at lalong-lalo na lumalawak ang sakop ng pagmamahal. Lahat minamahal, walang tinatangi na partikular kung hindi lahat ng tao minamahal niya, mabait o makasalanan, sinasakop ng kanyang pag-ibig. Ibig sabihin, normal. Sa lahat ng direksyon, lumalaki si Kristo. He grows not only in age, but in wisdom and grace. Eh, ganyan ang normal na paglaki. Kahit sa katawan, eh, ganyan ang normal na paglaki. Kung kayo'y lumalaki lang ng, ng palihis, Diyos ko, lalaki kayong mukhang kawayan. Pero kung kayo na may lumalaki ng pahalang lang, lumalaki kayo parang bariles. Kinakailangan hindi lang isang parte ng katawan nyo lumalaki. Lahat kinakailangan proporsyonal lumalaki. Hindi lang yung tenga ninyo. 
Kung hindi, magmumukha kayong pitsel o tasa. Kundi lahat. Ayun ang hirap sa mga hindi lumalaki ng normal. Tumatanda, pero walang pinagkakatandaan. Eh, itong Panginoon Heso Kristo natin, 12 anyos pa lang. Ha? Kita nyo na kung mga tuwiran, matino. Hindi ko ito ginagawa sapagkat gusto ko lang. Ito'y aking pananagutan. Oh, yun ang mahuhusay na sagot. Nung araw, eh, medyo meron pa akong nalak, naririnig na sagot na ganyan, madalas sa mga kabataan. Lalo na pagpapasok na sa kolehiyo. Natanungin ko, oh, bakit yun ang gustuhan mong kurso? Eh, sa katunayan, Father, eh, gusto ko po itong kursong ito. Gusto ko pong maging nurses pagkat hindi lang ako makakatulong sa mga may sakit. Madali hong magkatrabaho. Gusto ko pong matulungan si nanay at si tatay. Ako po ang panganay. Hindi naman ho kami mayaman. Ginagapang lang po ng tatay at nanay ko ang aking pag-aaral. Gusto ko pong makatapos agad. Pag nakatapos ako, eh, palagay ko na may makakatulong ako kahit papaano sa aking mga magulang. O, ayun ha. Anong dahilan ng kanyang pagpili at paggawa ng desisyon na yan? Dahil sa pamilya. Mahal niya yung pamilya niya. Oh, ayan. Ngayon, hindi lang pa minsan-minsan. Kanalasan, pag ako'y nagtatanong ng mga bata, o bakit yan ang kurso? Pinili mo, pagpasok sa kulehya. ano sabot? Gusto ko lang. Type ko lang. Nakugulat ako. Gusto ko lang. Type ko lang. Paano pag nawala na ng gana, hindi niya niya magustuhan. O kaya pala, ang dami mga estudyante, lipat-lipat ng departamento. Isang semester, nasa College of Engineering, next semester, nandun sa College of Architecture. Later on, nandoon na sa College of Fine Arts and Interior Decoration. Later on, nandoon na sa Hotel Management. Later on, nandoon na sa Business Management. Later on, later on. Walang natapos dahil parang paro-paro. May ikot ng ikot sa buong universidad sapagkat wala nang gana doon sa kursong kinukuha niya sapagkat ang dahilan kung bakit niya kinuha ay type ko lang. Gusto ko lang. At minsan, ganun din pag nag-aasawa. Tatanungin ko, bakit yan napili nung maging kasama mo sa buhay? Interviewin ko isa-isa. Hindi naririnig nung kasama. Yung kanya magiging kabiyak ng puso. Ba't siya ba ang napili mo? Eh, father, type ko lang. Gusto ko lang. O, gusto lang niya. Ay, nung magkita sila, kinilig. O, eh, iyon na siguro. Kinilig. Eh, paano kung mawala na yung kilig? O, kayo mga tumanda na dito sa kasalan, o, lahat ba? Kayo ba kinikilig pa? Pagkatapos ng pitong taon, walong taon pagsasama, kayo ba, pag kikita yung semester, kinikilig pa kayo? Eh, lalo na. Kung dalawat po't limang taon na kayo nagsasama, o mahigit pa, tatlong pong taon, nagkikiligan pa ba kayo? Malalapot pa ba ang tigin nyo sa isa't isa? Eh, pareho na kayong may katarata at glaucoma. Ha, eh, kung doon mo ibabase sa kilig, ang iyong pagpapasya, gusto ko lang. Yan be, pagpapasya ng isang matino at talagang tumatanda sa katalinuhang tao. O, 
di ba? Ako, tanungin ninyo, Father, bakit ka nagpare? Tapos, sabi ko sa inyo, gusto ko lang. Gusto ko lang, Diyos ko, type ko lang. Paano, Father, kung hindi mo na gusto, hindi mo na type, iiwanan mo ba na ba? Pag unawalan ka na ng gana, kita ninyo. Apot na apot limang taon na akong pare. Meron nyo araw-araw yan. Kala nyo ba, pag nagmimisa ako dito, laging may gana. Meron nyo, kung ako yung magmimisa dito dahil lang sa gana, palagay nyo, araw-araw may misa. Kakato kayo sa pinto ng manawa. Sabihin ako sa Krista, wala pang misa. Bakit? Si Father, walang gana. Magbalik po kayo. Bukas. Tsambahan nyo, baka bumalik na yung gana. Ano mangyayari dito sa simbahong ito? Kaya may gana, walang gana. O, tignan nyo, kahit na matanda na, eh, sige pa rin, nag-imisa pa rin. Da kasi, pananagutan ko yun. Kagustuhan ng Diyos, hindi lang kagustuhan ko. O, kayo ba nagsisimba lang kapag kayo may gana? Pag wala kayong gana, ayaw ko na. Nagtampo kayo dahil yung mga hinihingi nyo sa mahal na birin, hindi dumating. Kaya ba? Hindi na kayo magsisimba at mahala na kayong gana. Sa inyong pagsasamang mag-asawa. Sa mga anak. O, oh, mga anak, ano? Lalo na pag bata pa yan. Ako, kasarap yakapin. Pag sagol, cute. Pag third year high school na yan, ako, sumasagot na yan. Hindi na masarap yakapin. Masarap na sakalin. O yan, magkakagana pa ba kayo? Kaya ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo pinakita, normal na normal ang paglaki niya. Ito, ginagawa ko ito, hindi sapagkat ganado ko. Ang unang-unang dahil ako, bakit yung ginagawa ito? E sapagkat, ito ang pinangako at pananagutan ko sa Diyos. O tingnan niyo yung krus, nakapako si Kristo. Palagay niyo, si Kristo may gana. Nakapako siya sa krus. Oh. Tingnan niyo mabuti. Pero sige pa rin. Sabi niya gano'n. Pagpatuloy yan. Sabagkat yan ay aking pinangakong pagpapakasakit para sa mga tao. Gana o walang gana. Ito'y ginagawa ko sapagkat ito ay nasa plano ng Panginoon. Kayo, mga ginagawa niyo. Pag tinanong ko kayo, bakit nyo ginagawa iyan? Bakit ngayon? Hanggang ngayon, kasama nyo pa ang inyong asawa. Tumanda kayo sa pagsasama sa kasalan. Bakit hanggang ngayon? Araw-araw, pinapapakita nyo ang pagmamahal nyo sa inyong mga anak. Bakit hanggang ngayon? Kahit may gana o walang gana, tinutupan nyo ang pagsamba at pagmamahal sa Diyos. Isasagot nyo ba sa akin? Eh, gusto ko lang. O ang isasagot nyo, yung sagot ni Kristo, nung 12 anyos siya, ginagawa ko ito sapagkat ito ang kagustuhan ng aking amang Nasa langit. Kapag kayo nang sagot nyo, Congratulations! Normal ang pagtanda ninyo. That they may become living witnesses of your peace and justice in their vocation of wholehearted service, we pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. You made Mary the mother of mercy. May all who are faced with trials feel her motherly love and care, we pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. You gave Mary strength at the foot of the cross and filled her with joy at the resurrection of your Son. Lighten the hardships of those who are burdened and deepen their sense of hope, we pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. For all of us gathered here, may the example of our blessed mother, 
continually inspire and guide us in our obligation to protect lives, we pray. May your mother Mary intercede for us, Lord. For those who are afflicted and afflicted by COVID-19, especially our health care providers and frontliners, the sick, and those who have died, may through the guidance and grace of the Lord, the government and private agencies swiftly find cure and solution to this pandemic, we pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. For our personal intentions and for the intentions of the devotees of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. We pray. May Our Lady intercede for us, Lord. Lord God, give to your people the joy of continual health in mind and body. With the prayers of the Virgin Mary to help us, guide us through the sorrows of this life to eternal happiness in the life to come. This we pray through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. We offer you, O Lord, these offerings of conciliation and praise, humbly asking that following the example of the Virgin of Nazareth, we may present our very selves as a holy sacrifice pleasing to you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right to give you thanks, Father, most holy, on this celebration of the glorious Virgin Mary. For at Nazareth she receives with faith the message of Gabriel and becomes the mother of your son, begotten by you before the ages, now born into the world of time as our Savior and our brother. At Nazareth too, in loving communion with her son, she watches over the growing church in the person of her child and hands on to us the shining example of her life. In the holy house of Nazareth as the first disciple of her son, she receives the message of the gospel, treasures it in her heart, and reflects on it her mind. At Nazareth, also this purest of virgin, 
united with Joseph, the just man, in an unbreakable bond of chaste love, praises you in song, worships you in silence, honors you by her daily life, and gives you glory, or as she cares for her family. Now with all the saints and angels, we praise you forever. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the Jew falls, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francisco of our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, our Auxiliary Bishop, Gerard, the Master of the Order of Preachers, and all the clergy, Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her beloved spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Dominic and Saint Francis and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. By the Savior's command and formed by the divine teaching, we dare to say.
As Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer one another the sign of peace. Lord, this is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to this communion. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
2021, first Sunday of October. The schedule of the masses on that day will be the following 6 a.m., 7.30 a.m., 9 a.m., 10.30 a.m., 12 noon, and high mass at 4 p.m. To be presided by His Excellency Socrates de Villegas Didi, Archbishop of Lingayen, Dagupan, and to be followed by sending off of the pilgrim image to all the streets of the Poblacion of Manawang. Please light a candle outside your homes as the image of the Apo Bakat passes by. It will be concluded with a closing ceremony. See you all here or join us live stream via Facebook, YouTube, and Manawag Dominican Radio 102.7 FM. Thank you. Word of thanks. The Minor Basilica of Our Lady the Rosary of Manawag would like to thank Father, Reverend Father Enrico Gonzalez OP for presiding over the Novena Mass. We would like to thank the Word Proclaimers, Eucharistic Minister, Knights of the Altar, Brother Rusty Florante Roca, and ushers for actively participating in the Eucharistic celebration and being one in honoring the Blessed Mother. And finally, we thank you, our pilgrims and sponsors of this Mass. May the care and the intercession of the Blessed Mother, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, bring us closer to our Son, Jesus Christ. Please stand. Let's bow down our heads and pray for God's blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May God, through the childbearing of the Blessed Virgin Mary, wield in his great kindness to redeem the human race, to be pleased to enrich you with his blessing. May you know always and everywhere the protection of her to whom you have been found worthy to receive the author of life. May you who have devoutly gathered on this day carry away with you the gifts of spiritual joys and heavenly rewards. And may the Almighty, the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down with you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now please join me. For the blessing of the sick, then followed by the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. God, our mighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness towards our sick and aging brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, and Lady of the Rosary of Manawal, may these rosaries, images, Candles and all the other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.